Welcome to the Create Today podcast. I'm your host, Karen Stanley, certified rapid transformational therapist and hypnotherapist. And my passion is helping women heal from the past and learn how to create the life they love one day at a time. Welcome. Aloha. Thank you so much for being here. I love you for listening to my show. Thank you. It means the world to me. So what is my experience with RTT and why did I start? Like, how did this whole thing come about? It's actually one of my favorite stories. So since I like to talk and I have a podcast, I'm just going to tell you the story. Um, um, two years ago, well, when I'm recording this, two years ago, my husband had open heart surgery. So he had an aortic aneurysm, which means it's going to blow. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. And that's how people die all the time because it bursts. And if you don't go in and fix it, then it will burst. And so it was at the point where it really, he he was close. It was very close. It was very scary. By the time we actually saw it, the surgeon saw it, said we got to get in right away and scheduled him right away. So they replaced his aorta. So he has a man-made aorta in his heart and he had a triple bypass. So it was like a six hour surgery and he was 65 at the time. And it was major. It took him out. I mean, he's a champion. He's finally feeling better. He just completed 75 hard. If you don't know what 75 hard is, that's a monumental accomplishment as for anybody. For a 25 year old, it's a monumental accomplishment. You got to go look it up if you don't know what it is. It's Andy Frisella's um, website, 75 Heart. And he completed it at 67 after having open heart surgery. And he had not been feeling good at all. He hasn't been, hadn't felt good at all for the last two years. But the very first days that we were home, because he was in the hospital for like the first week, and then the week, the following weeks we were home, um, I was just completely consumed with fear. I was constantly playing out the world's worst scenarios. I wasn't sure if he was going to wake up every time he went to sleep for a nap. I really, I almost got like one of those nanny cams or like a baby monitor or something. It's like having a newborn. You don't want to leave the room. I mean, I came to my office and I had work to do and I had things to do while he was asleep, but I didn't want to leave the room. I was so afraid. I didn't know if he was going to make it. I didn't know if he was ever going to be my husband again. And I didn't know if he was ever going to be his normal self. I am stacking bad thought after bad thought after, and I know, I know, I know better. I was doing it anyway. I could not get, I could not like, like lessen this hold, this freaking grip of fear that was consuming me. Anxiety, depression, I I was freaking out. So I was like, Karen, oh, I was also feeling sorry for myself. You know why? Because uh, nobody was checking in on me quote unquote, this is what I told myself. Nobody's checking in on me. Everyone's asking how he's doing, which is great. Tons of people reached out and there were lots of people who reached out to me. That's a lie. I was telling myself, no one cares about the caregiver, (laughs) you know, and who cares? I'm not the one who went through it. I didn't want, I just was feeling sorry for myself. I was like, get a grip, Karen. Don't be a Karen. What do you say? Take your own advice. When you are feeling this way, pick up the phone and call someone that you love. And so I was like, all right, I'm going to do that. I just sit here and I talk to myself all day long in case you're wondering. (laughs) So I called a friend and this friend was really struggling and they were, she was struggling with depression and just the same things that she'd been struggling with over and over again. I've known her for my whole life. And I was just, man, all the times that we've talked and all the strategies we talk about and all the things that I wanted, you know, to, to, I want to help her so badly and I don't want her to suffer anymore. And I was so discouraged. And so then I called another friend and she was struggling with depression and she was looking to get another antidepressant to be on because the current one was making her feel tired and making her feel sick. And I'm just like, man, I wish there was a, um, a solution. And then I said, God, what actually works? What actually works? I sat right here at this desk in this office and I prayed. I mean, maybe it sounds dumb, but immediately, you know, what came to my brain? Marissa Pierre. No, I didn't know her name. I, what came to my brain was blonde hair, British accent, Tom Bilyeu, Tom Bilyeu. Okay. I know Tom Bilyeu. I see him speak. Love him. Love all of his interviews. I remember her. There was this blonde woman from, from England. 
And she was amazing. And she was talking about self-worth and she was talking about how powerful your words are. And I loved her, but I didn't remember her name. I didn't ever follow her on Instagram, which is very rare. I mean, usually when I see someone speak or I see a video of someone I like, I immediately follow them on Instagram and consume all of their content. I want to learn as much as possible. There's someone I really connect with, but I didn't. So I went to his YouTube channel and I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled. It was several years ago. Finally found it. Marissa Peer. That was her name. Oh my gosh. I listened to that again. Then I went to her website, listened to her other videos on YouTube and I was hooked. And I then saw that she's training therapists to do her method. It's, this is her method. Rapid transformational therapy is created, was created by Marissa Peer over 30 years of seeing clients and she's trained in all kinds of therapies. So it utilizes hypnosis, but there's lots of other therapies. There's lots of other tools, other strategies we use in the session itself. So it's not just hypnotherapy, but we use hypnotherapy. As soon as I figured, I found out that she was training teacher, like therapists, I could learn this and I could be a therapist and I could do that thing. That was it. I immediately signed up Um, I had to do like a call (laughs) and I didn't realize that I was going to have to like be chosen or like be accepted. I had to apply and I was like, oh crap. I told the guy when I was, I talked to him, this beautiful man in England and this awesome English accent. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, I have to apply. Like I have to wait to see if you're going to accept me. Well, no, I, I have to be accepted because God told me to do this. I mean, that's literally true. I mean, it sounds so dumb and he just I just, he just fell out of his chair. He was just like, I've never heard anybody say that before. I'm like, no, really. And then he was like, well, you know, they also, one of the things they want to know is to make sure that you have enough time to dedicate to your training. It's all online. And then, um, you have to do lots of practicing, lots of training, lots of classes. It's all online. You have time to do that. And I was like, well, I'm just going to quit my job. (laughs) I didn't quit my job, but he died. He's like, nobody's ever said that before. So, I learned, took me a little over a year to get through all of the training and all the hours and all the practice sessions. It was such an incredible experience. The best decision I've ever made, ever, because I've finally found something that gets lasting results and helps give people relief, helps give me relief. I signed up and paid to get trained as a therapist before I had even had my own therapy session. I was like, well, if I'm going to do this, maybe I should get my own therapy session. And so I did right after I signed up and it was just incredible the way I felt afterwards, the way I felt during this method that she has just been cultivating by trial and error and trial, you know, cognitive behavioral therapy is, is what we use. And your mind is so powerful. And once you learn how powerful the mind is, you really want to keep learning. For me, I just want to keep learning. I keep wanting to change whatever beliefs that are keeping me stuck or change whatever it is that I want to, I want to get better. We all need help. Every single person, we all need a little bit of help. We all have beliefs at some point that we've developed that are not serving us and that aren't true anymore. And this method helps us unlock those beliefs and unlock the core, the root cause of the symptom. Like if you're struggling with anxiety, anxiety is the symptom that it's not the problem. Anxiety is caused by core beliefs that we think, negative thoughts, and then what the pictures in our brains. Like as an example, I love bridges. I think they're so cool. I'm in awe of the the architecture and I love looking down when we cross one. I love looking to the water underneath and seeing if anybody's, you know, going underneath of the kayak or see if I can see any fish. I love bridges. I love lakes. I love water. I love going over them, especially the old ones. You know, those really cool old ones that are wood and they're all back east. We don't have anything like that in Arizona. Although we do have the Golden Gate Bridge. (laughs) I'd never even seen it. It's at Lake Havasu. Anyway, I digress. So my daughter though, she hates bridges. They terrify her. So the beliefs that you have are created by the pictures you have in your brain and the words that you're saying about it. That's how powerful the mind is. I'm going over there. I'm picturing the coolest architecture. I can't believe people can build bridges. I'm just in awe and wonderment and love it. And it's beautiful. And she is picturing a collapse. She's 
they're literally picturing it's not safe. It's going to come out beneath us. We're going to end up in the water. She's picturing us underneath the water in the car, locked in the car. That's what her brain is showing her. It's the pictures in your mind. So the phobia itself is not the disease, for lack of a better word. That's the symptom of the beliefs and the thoughts, the reoccurring automatic thoughts. And you can apply that to almost everything. And so that's why I love this method. I love the results. I love the peaceful, calm feeling that you can feel. And I love that you can get relief and freedom from whatever is keeping you from creating that beautiful, joyful life that you deserve. So thanks so much for being here. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for being here and listening to my show. If you got any value at all, it would mean the world if you shared it and left a review. Remember, the only way to create the life you love is to take it one day at a time. Create today. God bless you.